Yeah, good day. Would you like to share some information with you? Um, so basically, I've decided to run this still with an SER controller, which I've built. And then I'm using the PID controller, the dual PID controller, just for the the boiler's temperature and the head temperature of the of the actual head of the column. So I started off at uh, at 100 percent and as you can see um, I started off with 235 volts 8.47 amps uh, 1.99 kilowatts uh, 0 watt hours and 1.00 power factor and 50 hertz so I started a boiler at 1029 at 100 percent and I started uh, coming out of the still, out of the condenser, it uh, started flowing out at 11.10. So it took 40 minutes before I started getting the first uh, bit out. So I caught the first 100 mils. As you can see there, that's what I'm going to discard or use as fire lighters you got to be on a safe side and the skirt of our first uh, 100 mils um, so that's first bit you got to take off as you can see it's running a steady little stream at a moment I'm getting a fairly good output and that's what I'm looking for when I'm running my still is I'm looking at my output this is the first time I'm running this uh, SCR controller that I've built so at a moment of um, put the power down I'm only giving it 90 percent power which is 224 volts 8.125 amps and currently running 1.81 kilowatts at 50 hertz and the power factor is 1 and so far it's 1.8 kilowatt per hour so I'll see how you the temperature this is a probe I've got in on the top of the column which reads 77 degrees Celsius uh, This is the temperature that I've got on the outlet water that comes from the reflux condenser If if you look at my previous videos, you'll see Yeah, this is uh, the PID controller reads the top of the column uh, it's reading 88 degrees at the top of the column and the boiler is reading 95 degrees at the bottom of the boiler currently I'm running at about 93% 93% ABV Thanks for watching